And here's our four ton air handler from 2021 that we're gonna be pulling out. We also have a four inch April air filter. Let's take a quick look at our disconnects. Nice, everything's loose. The cover is falling out of the disconnect box and that's what I like to see. And you have to ask the question, if you're willing to cut corners on something so cheap, where else were corners cut? And over here we have our 18 inch return air. Now let's climb to the other side of the unit. Getting to the other side of the unit was a bit of a pain because I had to do some gymnastics to get over there. I do have a bad knee from playing football and it makes things pretty difficult to get around in spaces like this. And a quick hack to really help things out is to use these knee braces here. They're made for weightlifting, but man, they sure do help. It looks like this platform is overhanging the joist and there's nothing to support it on this side. And if I step on it, I'll probably step through the ceiling. And it looks like somebody almost did just that. It looks like we also have some trash up here from the last install, which is a nice little present that somebody left behind. This duct here is going to my daughter's room where we have major airflow issues. When it comes to duct runs, you always want it to be as straight as possible with the fewest number of turns, along with being strapped from the rafters. This duct run accomplishes none of those. And that's why we're having airflow issues.